Um, if, if a woman came up to you in the hallway at First Pres and asked you, why are we having this conversation about lasting beauty, what would you tell them? Depending on who she was. But, <laughs> but generally, um, I would say that my general answer would be because women are created in the image of God, and part of a woman being created in that image is that she is a reflection of beauty. Um, and I think we have different, sometimes what we think of beauty is not necessarily biblical beauty. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that uh, in the last several years, the world's voice has gotten a lot louder and kind of perverted what beauty looks like in women. And we're seeing the damages of that. And so, um, beauty is reflected both in our and women and in outer, like their physical bodies, and women as well. What would you say that the older generation's skewed view of beauty is? I think older women can, the way beauty was defined for them growing up was primarily in their roles, like what they did. Women, older women typically, and this is general, you know, because older women have struggled losing their physical, you know, wrinkles and all that junk which we're now experiencing is not fun. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, roles. So they would say roles, their roles are the most important. That's what I would say. Yeah. I don't know what they would say. <laughs> and to do those roles well. Right. With competence. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously the younger generation's view, like you said, is very much different. We don't judge our beauty based on how well we cook or whatever. We judge our beauty based on what our body looks like. Right. Even though we know for the most part, that shallow, that's still what drives us. Right. And you can see that because, well, number one, we try hard. Um, and I think we're talking about this in a minute. We either try hard or we don't try at all. Right. And um, number two, we speak very negatively to ourselves. You know, I think right. that, that... Or negatively about... Or negatively about other people. Right. Yeah. It's hard for us to find a definition of beauty that's not perfection because for us, those images are all perfection. You know, I saw that little thing in um, that documentary you gave me, America the Beautiful, where an advertiser was saying, you know, we sell a dream. There's never really perfection. You know, we get as close as we can by modifying and doing all that stuff, but you never really get there. That's why we sell it, you know, because it's always something that you want more of and you want more of and you want more of. All right, so how would you define beauty? I think beauty is something that um, draws and invites um, it attracts. I mean, it does. It, there's nothing wrong with that. And then, it, but it speaks to peace. You know, it says, like they say in Captivating, it says all is well. Um, and so, when you're around someone that's truly beautiful, it's like you're invited in, and you, you feel peaceful. You feel at your ease. You feel that you admire them, but in a way that goes beyond them. So how do you think um, having this particular conversation will help us and will help women? get closer to a true definition of beauty and I mean because we can say that but we know it's obviously a fight to get there well it I think that women sometimes can condemn the desire that God's given them to be beautiful and I think what we need to do instead is offer that desire to the Lord worship leads us to be beautiful that's mm -hmm. the only thing mm -hmm. um, and for some of us we hide behind our beauty and for some of us we um, had meaning that we don't think we can ever be beautiful, so we just don't try. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just as wrong as the woman who um, spends endless hours in the gym and plastic surgeons galore, although I'm not against plastic surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not against the gym. Right, or the gym, um, or dermatologists for that matter. But anyway, I'm not against any of those things. I think uh -huh. they're all good things, but um, it's just we want to put them in the right mm -hmm. order. So we want to lose our subconsciousness and enjoy, I want to enjoy your beauty and I want you to enjoy mine. Because it's a lot. <laughs>